Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, just wanted to do a little quick video on how I organize my seeds. Um, might be a little bit anal. <laughs> Some people um, think uh, it's a little bit of OCD, but this is how I do. Uh, first of all, the dollar store is your friend. These are just spice bottles that I got from the uh, dollar store. Uh, these, This is just another small bottle I got from dollar store. And um, for my plantings like this, uh, this is uh, spinach that I'm just like free casting the seeds uh, all over the tray. I put the seeds in a spice bottle and uh, you have different openings up top, depending on the side seeds, seeds, seeds that are inside and you can control how much you spread them on. So it's almost like you're cooking or baking. You just kind of shake it across and away you go. Label gets flipped upside down, but you should know what's in your own bottles. So uh, yeah, that's spinach. This is arugula, I believe. Yes, arugula. Uh, this is mesclun. It's a small type of leaf lettuce. Uh, they said leaf lettuce, but it's almost like a microgreen. That's what I found. And this is the yucca, yucca pa lettuce, uh, iceberg, apparently. Uh, that's what these are in the solo cups. They don't look like iceberg to me, but hey, that's just me. Uh, but they are starting to ball up a bit. Anyways, this is how I organize it. Uh, these are the seeds from the cone flowers that I have outside. I collected some seeds. Um... If you're doing, uh, if you're collecting your own seeds, make sure you label the, your, your seeds. I've had uh, bottles in the past that I just didn't label and I said, oh, I'll remember what it is. You don't remember what it is. So good idea to label, put the date that they were collected and what's actually in the jar. In these ones, I just cut off the label that was on the actual seed packages. And most of my seeds I get from uh, Vessies. They're a Canadian uh, um, online uh, nursery a great source for uh, the seeds so that's what I do with these seeds now if I take this off here this that you're looking at here let me see if I can get a wider angle there we go this that you're looking at here I got from Amazon it is actually if I can get it open with one hand come on you can do it there we go. This is what I keep my seed pouches in. This is actually a container to organize your printed photographs. So when you print out a pho um, photographs, they're four by six, the normal size. Dating myself for people that don't print their photographs anymore. Back in the day, they were four by six and they were physical. You could hold them. It was an awesome thing. Anyways, that's my old man rant. Uh, yeah, these are to organize photographs, but they work amazingly well for seed packets. So my tomato seeds, my more tomato seeds. <laughs> so what I've tried to do is put like uh, vegetables and herbs on this side. And then ideally I wanted to get like uh, flowering plants and stuff over there, but uh, it doesn't matter. These are eggplants. I guess I could go further and put actual like mini labels on top, but um, this does a pretty good job. These are the corn seeds that I'm going to plant uh, this spring. And it's just a nice, neat little way to keep everything together. Has a little handle and it's very convenient. So I find it very convenient. The only things that don't fit in there is if you buy like massive or huge amounts of seeds. This was a larger package of um, the snow peas uh, seeds, so obviously they can't fit in in one of these. But for everything else, that's how I keep it organized. So um, I will try to find the link on Amazon that I uh, I got this from, and I'll post it in the description down below. So yeah, great for your seed pouches, and great for you know if you're doing like mass plantings like this. Just put them in a spice bottle. That's it for this video.